Are you excited? Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Last time I was in this airport, I was so crying I because I had to leave Sean, and now we're flying together. Woo! Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you what it is like in Tanzania, how much stuff costs, and some things that we got to do while we were there. We went to Tanzania just as like a little layover on our way to Zanzibar, which is an island off the coast of Tanzania. So we only spent a few days there, but it was really cool and I'm so excited to show you guys what all it is like. So now we're in Joburg, Johannesburg, Johannesburg International Airport and it is quite big, gotta find our next gate. Yep. As you can imagine, some of the food on the airplane is not the best, but um, we tried it. It was pretty cold, and apparently, according to Sean, the wine did not taste good, as you can see by the expression on his face. This wine doesn't taste good. We also just had to prepare a few documents to get into the country, and I also had to pay for a visa to get in, which was about $100. Here we have the Kariaku Market, which is one of the biggest markets in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Now we are on our way to go to the Fish Market, which is one of the biggest fish markets in Dar es Salaam also. We also got to ride around in so many tuk-tuks, which is a very common mode of transportation there that is basically a motorcycle type of thing with a carriage on the back. Using the tuk-tuks to get around was probably the cheapest mode of transportation, which is why we used it quite often just to kind of save some money here and there. We got to try some authentic Tanzanian food which was super cheap and super good it consisted of fish spinach beans sauce and ugali which is a type of food there that's made out of maize meal and it kind of tastes a little bit like dough but it's really good But overall, the food was pretty cheap there. Compared to the US prices, even the most expensive meal we had was still pretty cheap. Another thing about Tanzania is that they have a very intense rainy season, which includes pouring rain all day every day and luckily we only got to experience it for a few days not very long but um it's very hard to get around because the roads are flooding because the drainage system isn't as good as some other countries Another thing to watch out for in Tanzania is that they do have a little bit of malaria. It's not to say that all mosquitoes have malaria, but there is a small percentage of mosquitoes that do have malaria and you have to just be cautious about it. Just making sure that you use bug spray every day. That's all you can do and Sean and I were fine when we were over there. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, just give it a thumbs up and the next one will be about Zanzibar, which is the island off the coast of Tanzania, which is where we spent the majority of our time so don't miss it and I will see you guys soon.